So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology and welcome to my iPhone 14 Pro Max in space black unboxing. Now, if you're wondering where the heck has the video been, Nick, well, I had a little debacle with UPS. They didn't deliver the package on Friday. So I went and picked it up this morning because they were closed on the weekend. Anyway, iPhone 14 Pro Max, USB-C to lightning cable, power adapter and headphones sold separately. There's not much to see on the outside, Apple has basically just shrunk down the boxes. They are basically just giving you the phone and a cable with some warranty things and stuff like that. So I actually forgot to take that piece off on the back on the bottom right there. But you can see here is your space black iPhone 14 Pro Max. Comparing that to the iPhone 14 Pro in the deep purple colorway, I think the deep purple definitely stands out a bit more, but I think a lot of people will like this black the space black, it's definitely darker than last year's graphite iPhone 13 Pro Max. And the edges are definitely darker as well, something I quite like. Let's go ahead and peel that off and take a look at what else is in the box while we go ahead and turn on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So you'll see you do have yourself a USB-C to lightning cable, just like included with the 14 Pro. And then inside of here, they just give you a little few guides to tell you this is no longer a physical SIM setup. You do have to use eSIM. Pretty easy to do, but you're gonna have to kind of get used to it. It's a little bit different from before. You can't just pop a SIM in and out. And of course, the classic Apple st stickers do come in this box as well. So overall, similar iPhone box you're used to. Apple doesn't really change that much. Just made it smaller than before. But here we are, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, again, the camera's a little bit bigger. You can see stainless steel edges. It's beautiful. We have the dynamic island there. And this is basically the top tier of iPhone. So let me set this up. Literally, there's no change in the setup besides the fact that they announced that you have satellite emergency coming as well as crash detection. So I'm just going to sign in and I'll be back when we are in. All right. So we are now in the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And again, I'm going to pull over the iPhone 14 Pro to just kind of show you basically the size differences. You can see it's definitely bigger than this phone. And with the dynamic island, let me go ahead and go to the app store. You can see the dynamic islands are about the same on both phones. So it really just comes down to which size do you want? Once again, it's always kind of been like that. But this year they have similar cameras, same dynamic island feature. It's just down to what's more comfortable to you. But the iPhone 14 Pro Max in space black is my favorite color because they actually made the body of it a little bit darker than the graphite iPhones of the past. So I like that they switched this up. I think it's clean. It's like the first black iPhone, I think, since the 7 Plus. I could be wrong, but I think it might be definitely quite nice, definitely darker. So if you're into the darker colorways, you're going to love the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And if you look closely here, their cameras are definitely a little bit bigger than before and supposedly three times sharper. Now, in terms of weight, it actually feels about the same as the iPhone 13 Pro Max in terms of weight. So if you are used to, you know, 12 Pro Max, 13 Pro Max, this is gonna be easy for you to adapt to. You can see we have the older notch there and that newer dynamic island. So there's not a ton more going on here. So the software is gonna be iOS 16, like you're used to from, you know, other iPhones. If we go into the settings right out of the box, there is an update. You know, 16 has a little update for iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. I got the 256 gig storage, and you can see that it does use about 15.7 just for iOS alone and basically everything that comes out of the box. So there's a few storage, you know, used up a little bit. So you might want to go a little bit more if you're running low. If we go into the settings and take a look at the wallpapers, like I say, we already kind of did this unboxing with the iPhone 14 Pro, but you're going to have them same wallpapers over here down in colors. I think it's colors, maybe collections. Yeah, collections right here. So you can see that the wallpapers do kind of match up with the dynamic island that kind of look right there, space black. And then if we go over here, well, it lagged up a little bit right there, silver, gold, deep purple. And then you do have the ability to put a depth effect on here. So that's pretty cool. Also, what's nice about the iPhone 14 Pro Max is it does have the best battery life of basically any iPhone this year. So if I go over here to the battery life, 
This is going to be the strongest battery of all of them. It's even said to have better battery life than the 13 Pro Max, which is pretty insane because this phone was the best battery life phone I've ever used on iPhone. So definitely seeing this get even better is a pretty nice touch. So I'll be looking out for that. Let me know what you want to see with that. Also, just like the other iPhone 14s, they do have improved front facing cameras on here that are better in low light. They do have the ability to go 4K 60, of course, but you can also do 4K cinematic video at 30 frames a second on the front facing camera now for the 14 Pro Max, pretty cool. Also on the rear, we do have that new 48 megapixel camera. I can tell you what I've noticed so far is that the results have definitely been a little bit sharper. I've been testing this out already with the iPhone 14 Pro and the low light photography is getting a little bit better as in it gets, the, the photos are getting a little bit brighter, but of course I'm gonna take these out and do some samples throughout the week and I'll show you more footage of what these are capable of. But you can see it does go 2X, 3X. It does have the 1X and the ultra wide. Not only that, the cinematic and video is set to get a little bit better this year, slow motion. And in video, of course, you're gonna get action mode, which actually comes with all of the 14 models, including the 14 and 14 plus. Now, one thing to note too, is that the display gets brighter as well with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, especially outdoors, and I can confirm this is true. I'm gonna take the 14 Pro, put the light here, and you'll see it kind of get really bright here. So let's see if it does it. And you can see it's just brightening up quite a bit. Also, I will tell you that the iPhone 14 Pro Max with HDR also gets brighter as well. So if you watch HDR video, 1600 nits, and then it go 2000 outdoors. So this phone, man, is probably the brightest phone on the market. Well, Samsung's right there too with their extra brightness feature, but man, is this a really bright display for sure. Now, Bluetooth is also said to be improved on this phone as well, so you can look forward to having faster Bluetooth of 5.3. And of course, if you wanna see what Dynamic Island looks like if you haven't seen it, essentially what it does is when you use different features, it will kind of show up there when you make a call, when you go ahead and charge the phone. Let me actually do that once again. I think I did it in my 14 Pro video, but let me show you. It just operates in a way that kind of gives you a lot of different features that kind of just shows it up there in a dynamic island. So while this camera definitely is hidden behind that, Apple is manipulating the software to go ahead and you know make that look like it's not there. There is a face ID sensor and camera behind this. So let me go ahead and hold this down, you can see as you hold it down, things will pop up. You know, when you're watching a YouTube video, it'll show what you're playing and music, stuff like that. It's a pretty cool new touch and it definitely makes the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max feel like different phones. But my first impressions are, man, does this feel similar <laughs> to the iPhone 13 Pro Max? I'm not sure you have to do this upgrade. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure you even have to do this upgrade if you have a 12 Pro Max. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at this next to the 12 Pro Max, this is the silver edition. You can see they've basically taken the body and just upgraded it a little bit. So it's not major, I mean, they, all right, so let's let's see the evolution here. So basically they went from a longer notch this way to a deeper and like less wide notch to the new dynamic island right here. So they, they're getting better and better. You can see that the screen is actually, if you look right here, it's actually now visible up there. They're getting better and better. I'm still looking for an all screen. But I think one of the biggest upgrades for, for this person coming to this phone will be from this phone. So if you have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, this is gonna be one of the biggest upgrades for the you know Max users, especially if you have this or a 10S Max, this will be a huge upgrade. If you have the 12 Pro Max, it's a good two year upgrade. I wouldn't say it's groundbreakingly better, but it's a good two year upgrade. And if you have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it's gonna be a tough call. You're gonna have to decide if it's worth it for you or you just wanna wait till the A17, which is supposed to have a groundbreaking A17 chipset that's supposed to make the phone cooler and much more efficient. So I'm looking out for that as well. And also a couple other things, always on display here on board. You can see some people think it's way too bright here. You can also tweak that in settings. You can't tweak the brightness just yet. I'm sure Apple will give you uh, maybe an update in the future to make it less bright since they're getting a lot of complaints. but. You can see always on display right there, toggled within the display brightness settings down here, display and brightness. And then also another thing I wanted to mention is within the camera. So within the camera settings, you also have you know photographic styles, lens correction, macro control, 
formats. You can do Apple Pro Raw, Apple Pro Res. So this is really a pro pro phone, especially if you want to use those features. Not everybody will, but they're there if you want. So that's about it. I don't need to cover any more here in the initial unboxing. I have a lot of comparisons to do. So let me know which comparisons you want to see with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I gotta say, the space black is probably my favorite colorway of all of the new iPhones. Let's get a few more looks at it. You can see charging doesn't get much faster with this edition. Take a look over to the side. It does have 5G, silent switch is still on board. No SIM card slot, that's something you don't get on a new 14 Pro Max, any color. <laughs> None of them give you that. The camera does stick off the body a little bit more than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Do keep that in mind, I'll cover this more in the overall you know comparison video you can see those lenses are definitely bigger overall though it's just a updated iphone 13 pro max with dynamic island that's it for me let me know what you guys want to see going forward on the 14 pro 14 pro max and the 14 we now have all of them in the studio i'll catch you all in the next one nick here be sure to be well and peace